Hi guys, welcome to Code Decode. So in the previous video, we have covered theory of encapsulation or data hiding. Today we are going to see how to implement that encapsulation in Java world. So let's get started. So have you seen this doc class before? We have done so much with this doc class, right? So let's make this doc class completely encapsulated and which should adhere to all the rules of encapsulation. So how do we, how do we implement encapsulation? We implement encapsulation by making these variables private and creating the public getters and setters. So how do we make that? So first we'll create these methods, these variables private. So once it is done, I've already told you that these a standard IDDs are always providing you some facility to generate getters and setters very easily and very fast so that you can encapsulate your classes in Java. So let's see how Eclipse does that for us. So these were three methods which was already present. These were the methods of a dog class. Now I want to use these color name breed and age of the dog class. So what I will do, I'll right click here. I'll go to source, I'll go to generate and getters and setters. So do you see this method? Generate getters and setters. So it gives me a checkbox. If I want to click all of them, it will create the getters and setters for all of them. So if as of now, I'll select both all of them. So I'll do generate. So what it does, it does nothing but creates public getters and setters for us right so all these are public getters and setters for us so this is how i have implemented encapsulation but the main part here arises is that how does that benefits us so because even the work was even being done earlier so how does it benefits now so the very first and important part of this was that if we achieve data hiding so how do we actually achieve data hiding so this was my main class, right? So in this main class, I have created my object Tommy of type dog, right? So this was my class, which has private variables and public methods. So I've created an object of this Tommy. Now, if this is another class, this is called as main class. So this is an outside class. So if I try Tommy dot and I'll print it. So let me just write it in CSO itself. And I'll say Tommy dot age. So it's giving me an option of get age or set age, but it is not giving me an access directly to the age uh, object or variable. So what it says change visibility to package because it is currently private. And or yeah, you can replace Tommy dot get with the getter of this particular method so if i replace it with it so it it gives me a getter of it getter option but as of now i i'm trying that this particular object should directly access my age variable but it says me no so this is the beauty of encapsulation so if i delete it i don't make it private what happens it's very good. It, it doesn't give me any compilation error. It can I can easily access age with just creating an object of it rather than creating the method, creating it private. So this is a beauty of encapsulation. Second advantage which I have uh, covered earlier in the theoretical view is that by creating the getters and setters, you can make a class read only or write only so currently what you can see is you have getters and setters both so if i create only setters and not the getters what happened so i'll remove this for you okay i'll remove all the getters fine i've removed all the four getters for you i only have setters now what will happen now see dot age i cannot do for sure dot get now getters are removed i'm not getting any option of i'm only getting the options of set so what options i'm getting age breed color and name so i can only set my data say i set my age as 15 but can you see i cannot read any on any such data 
it says argument matching sorry i'm setting here so this is this should not be done here you can do it in an, another way as tommy dot set age as 15 and i can save it age is private that is why it's giving me compile time error so i can save it here easily so what i'm trying to do here i'm going to set my age but i cannot see it i cannot do get age why or neither can i try with variable so this is how i cannot get any of these variables and hence i cannot see any of the values being set here i can only read it by i can only set it i can only write it so this is write only way of implementation of a class by only using setters what happens if i use only getters and not the setters so i'll remove these setters for you now if i remove all the setters i go there i get an issue here so what what all can i see here i can only get i cannot set so this is how you can only get or print something onto your screen you cannot set anything and hence you can only get or you can only read so this makes your class read only and not at all writable or updatable so this is another advantages of this getters and setters let's get back with everything because actually both are important we need read write and updatable class another last advantage of encapsulation that you can see here is that you can control what data is being set here so how can you do that i have a setter here right of, of age now if i say if age is greater than zero so i've given this condition only if you are setting the age then only set the age right so i'm going to set my age as 15 fine and i'm going to print my age syso and tommy dot get age what i'm going to get run as java application so you can see 15 what i've set i have got now if i'm trying to set it and i'm going to print it but not to 15 but minus 15 what will happen it says 15 only it does not set as minus 15 why because i have given in a particular condition that only if age is greater than 15 then only set it else don't set it keep it as it is so if i remove it from here i'm not setting anything here initially it was null so if i try to run it i get zero there is nothing i can do with the negative numbers here why because the default value for this int variable is zero so the default value gets printed it does not get printed with minus 15 or if i even uh, if i say minus 5 and i try to run it even then also it will say me zero because any negative number is not being considered a particular variable which is satisfying this condition age greater than zero and hence it is not being saved so this is very important advantages of encapsulation the first i've seen that it is very easily generatable these getters and setters are easily generatable by any ids second advantage that the getters and setters uh, gives you data hiding the main class cannot access the dog class age variable when it is private or anything you have to use the getters and setters to get or put the data into the class the third advantage is that by providing getters or setters optionally you can make the class read only or write only and the last one is that you can provide the control what data is being saved in your class as an object if if the age is not greater than zero don't save it in this class don't don't corrupt the data so this is how you can put your logic in the setters so that was all about the how to implement the encapsulation how to actually put your logics into it how what are the advantages of these encapsulations i'll cover more such concepts so please stay tuned thank you